Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Nice to be back. Um, got a few things going on. The reason I postponed last week's stream. It's got a few things going on. Nothing bad, particularly. Just busy doing other things. And, um, <clears throat> and by the time I got finished doing what I was doing, it was late. And it takes time to set this to set this all up. It takes some time, and there's nothing worse than appearing unprepared and not warmed up. You know, Stephen Coleman, Boston, Massachusetts. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to see you all, folks. So, I haven't played this Telecaster for a while. It's, uh, it's one of the best guitars on planet Earth. It's, uh, it's a beautiful guitar. Now, I've just spotted something that I'm going to have to correct. You see this camera here? I just adjusted it before the show, and I wanted to make it go the other way. I wanted to make it go that way, and I've made it go the other way. Because one of the strange things about all of this is that things are kind of in reverse. Everything's done in a mirror, mirror image. Yes. Steve Forward. Excellent to hear from you, Steve. Excellent to hear from you. Check out Steve Ford. He's an excellent talent. He's a great singer, guitar player, producer. He does some excellent stuff. I'm going to play a video of New York and I'm going to move that camera and I'm going to be back. It'll take us 30 seconds if I'm lucky. That's what having your having your, your fallback, your your intermissions. I filmed that on Sixth Avenue Monday night, leaving the bitter end. And if you look at Sixth Avenue now, it's a depressing sight. I tell you, it's depressing to see what's happening in everywhere, really. But I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed. It's depressing, but it's not depressed. 
Yes, Jeff, this is a 62 reissue. Uh, I bought it from, either, I think it was either Wildwood Guitars or Dave's Guitars in America. It was part of a batch that they had custom made. Wonderful guitar. And it's got Seymour Duncan custom shop pickups in, which I feel very uh, privileged to have because <laughs> Seymour gave them to me personally. <laughs> Frank Sinatra said, don't drop names, Paul. It doesn't suit you. Oh, that's an old one. turn that insane amount of reverb and delay down so we can actually do something okay. first track is called master of chaos written for a friend of ours uh, have I ever played an RB no or is it an R8 I can't really see but no going back home to the village of the sun out in the back of palmdale where the turkey farmers run mr dave edwards mm, thing we're having that uh well if i put the mic there that's better isn't it oh but then you're away in the way of that microphone oh i'm a little bit squeezed it's not the end of the world okay let's play
I like these ones, these kind of slow, slow burners for opening the live stream because they're not too taxing, but you can kind of feel yourself loosening up as, as, the, as the time goes on. Dave Alves, Stephen Coleman, thank you very much. Black Hole Colliery, yes indeed. Hello from Marbella, nice. Yeah, thank you very much indeed everybody. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying it. I do try to view your comments while at the same time not sitting here all night staring at the, the, the pretty pictures. So that was Jim Drummond on drums and George Panos on bass and I played keyboards and it's a song called Master of Chaos and we recorded it we recorded it in um, Montreux, Switzerland and uh, this, the, the sessions were supervised by the Master of Chaos himself uh, what's next number two uh, mirror image okay from the note to self record CD I'm running out of CDs do you know that it's a, it's a privilege to be able to say that Ziggy and Dylan have got it in for somebody probably the next door neighbour who's nervous of dogs <laughs> Let's do mirror image.
that one goes on for a long time. I think I made it. I think I may have been overloading the input there. Hello. Nice to hear from you, Harry. Nice to hear from you. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, let's pull that one out. Yeah, it's a long one, that. It's a doubler. It's a doubler. Uh, next one's called... Next one's called Soul Tone. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page, please be sure where they are, wherever you're viewing. Hello from Austria, Norbert. Nice to hear from you. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please. Um, subscribe and hit notifications and if you're watching on Facebook please like and uh, I'm sick of hearing people on the internet ask for money I'm sick of hearing people on the internet ask for money so I'm not going to I've got a Patreon page ladies and gentlemen if you want to help me put these what up YouTube what up YouTube I'm sick of it I hate it and I'm going to get rid of that Patreon link on there because, I don't know, it's just, it's, uh, it's not me. So <laughs> Okay, let me just get this uh, reverb back a bit. This is a... Also, good evening to everybody watching on Hellmaker Relaxing Blues via Calgary, Canada. I'm sorry I don't reply. I, I reply to messages that I'm receiving from my own channels. But I stream to you guys in Calgary, Canada... And I have no way of viewing the messages that come through on there. But I do, I do read the messages after the show. Uh, I read all of the messages after the show. I read the messages on my channels and I read the messages on Eric's channel. And, uh, and, I, and I, <clears throat> it's nice to be, it's nice to be part of something. <laughs> So this one's called Whole Tone and it's uh, Whole Tone, Whole Tone, Soul Tone. This is Whole Tone. <laughs> That's Whole Tone. This one's called Soul Tone. <laughs> okay now, get a grip of yourself. And it's, a, it's kind of an old soul tune that that I kind of found messing about one day. That's what you get for being a show off and not concentrating.
may be a bit scrappy that one actually oh you like that song Stephen thank you very much thank you very much hello there herbs 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 from Brazil thank you very much dark swarm based mm, interesting uh, nice to hear from you dark swarm yeah uh, okay I'm <clears throat> just trying to just trying to keep on top of the messages without getting too distracted because when I look at the playback there's times where I sit silently staring at this page staring at this page reading your messages when really I should be playing the guitar and doing that <laughs> UFOs yeah tell you what let's have a go with this
something like that, whatever that is. So that one ends messily. Messily, thank you very much.
Lock in, lock in. All right, lock in, lock in. I know where you live, mate. Yes, I do. Um, good, 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 good. Yes. Yeah. I'm maiming. I'm maiming to everything. Was anybody, I think some of you were tuned in when there was one guy. There's one guy, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Herbis. Thank you very much. There's one guy uh, said I was maiming. And he kept saying, this isn't a live stream, this is maiming. And, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. Of course. I'm maiming to this. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to uh, <laughs> to line that up? So now I'm talking and I'm playing to a backing track and I'm waiting for the next chord. <coughs> See, I've got a... I'm, I'm maiming. This is maiming to a backing track. Yeah, there's a lot of experts out there. Uh, don't get me started. Okay. That was number f was number six. Night and day. No. Yes. Let's do, let's do Black Magic. Written by Peter Green from uh, Bethnal Green in East London. In uh, yeah, it was a Russian guy, I think. Um, uh, Peter Green from Bethnal Green, Cray Twins territory. I wonder if he knew the Cray Twins. I bet he knew people who knew the Cray Twins. Those of you who don't know London, the Cray Twins were were. Uh, Bad lads, shall we say. And they were from Bethnal Green. Where Peter Green's from. Where this song's from. Where it's not green, it's black magic. It's my brother playing drums. David Rose playing drums. This is. Great. Give us a second. Look at that. Okay. You should be able to hear it now. Thank you. 
and fades out. Well, second favourite guitar player next to Peter Green. That is a compliment which I will gladly accept and hold on to forever. I promise you I will. I was very fortunate to meet Peter Green. And uh, he wasn't in good shape. He wasn't in good shape. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Um, Steve. Steve Forward. I'm using a software called vMix. It's what OBS would like to be. Yes, OBS is free. Yes, OBS does a lot. Uh, but basically, to cut a long story short, I can send you an email and, and explain this, but you compile a playlist of inputs. So I have three inputs. I have this camera. I have this camera. And I have this camera. And you put them on a playlist. And it just rotates. It rotates. And the things where you see um, where you see these like scenes where I've got backdrops and two they're scenes that you can compose within vmix and you also include them in the playlist and you can mix it up and you can jumble it up and you can put it on random. And so I don't have to do anything. The cameras change all by themselves. These overlays I made myself in the software that comes with the in the software that uh, comes within the software and they're on what's called a timed overlay so that'll stay there for 10 seconds and then it fades away i can also go between cameras in different ways like this got to be very careful not, not to end the show <laughs> not to end hit the button that ends the show because i'm not finished yet the music is healing well Thank you very much indeed. I really do appreciate that. Music healed me. Music saved me from years of despair and addiction and destructive, crazy behaviour for which there, there's no going back and changing other than not to do it today. Track number eight. Numbers game. Mm, no, I think we'll do space three. <laughs> I think we'll do Space 3, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody, somewhere, I think, already asked for this one, if I'm not very much mistaken. Mime to the Benny Hill theme. Would you like me to mime to the Benny Hill theme? Let me do Space 3. Which number was it? Number 9. Yeah. Let me mime to Space 3, and then I'll mime to Benny Hill. And then I might have to go. Let's see.
base three. Um, there was, um, there was once upon a time an album called Slide Away, which I made while living in my flat on Abbey Road in London. And <clears throat> I was uh, interesting. I'll tell you a story because most people have probably gone to bed by now. Most people have probably gone to bed and they're fast asleep. Or they're looking at something else because the attention span of a gnat. <laughs> bit like me. So I was living in a block of flats on the junction of Belsize Road and Abbey Road in London. Yes, Abbey Road. The Abbey Road that the Beatles used to record music on and um, and I was uh, newly off newly sober, I'd stopped drinking stopped smoking, stopped taking drugs and um, got big into meditation now you may have told this story before but maybe you haven't heard it before where the block of flats was where I lived was built on the site of an old monastery the church was still there, the little chapel was still there, and the monks used to walk down Abbey Road to Westminster Abbey many, many, many years ago. That's why it's called Abbey Road, because of the walk from the monastery down to the Westminster Abbey. And Abbey Road is where the studio was. And I used to meditate in that flat for an hour, at least a day, and I was creating this very ambient, minimalistic, spacious music and I did an album called Slide Away and there's two tracks on that album called Space One and Space Two that is called Space Three it's the third one of that particular track and it's available on Bandcamp if I press S you should get me Bandcamp page ah look at that now no, would you look at that I need to refresh that page because um, hang on a second. Well, if you go to Bandcamp and hit shop, you'll find it. Um, that page is in there somewhere. I need to refresh it, but because we just put a new internet in the house the last couple of days. I've been busy this last couple of weeks, and I'm going to be busy all of this week. I work with a band called the Band of Friends, which is Jerry McAvoy and Brendan O'Neill from Rory Gallagher's band. It was Ted McKenna, um, but unfortunately we lost Ted. But I'm working on some, working every day, long hours every day when I can, um, on some stuff which will be announced for the internet. It's an internet release that we're pre preparing. And... Um, and I'm getting emails from people asking us if I can teach them how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, yes, I tuned to 432. I tuned to 432. I always tune to 432 whenever I can. I don't make other people tune to 432. I, I go and work with other people and we tune to 440. But when I'm making music, I tune it to 432, and I make the people who work with me tune to 432. I was working with John Bundrick, the Hammond organ player of The Who, for 30 years. John Bundrick, what a musician. What an incredible musician. And um, he's done Bob Marley and the Wailers. He did John Martin. He's done Snowy White. He's done Jeff Beck. He's done The Who. He's done every Pete Townsend. He's an amazing player, great player. John Bundrick, call him Rabbit, John Rabbit Bundrick. And um, and I said to him, have you ever heard of 432? And he says, oh yeah, he says, Pete Townsend wanted to, Pete Townsend had got somebody to de develop some machine that detuned the Hammond B3 down to 432. So Pete Townsend's aware of it as well. And I, I'm not gonna jam it down anybody's throat and say that it's, you should or anybody else should, but to my ear, it sounds better. I hear a separation in the chord. I can actually hear the individual notes in the chord. Whereas when you're tuned to 440, it tends to sound a little bit more tense, a bit tighter. The, the, the things kind of 
oscillate and resonate nicer. They play better together as nice friends when they tune to 432. 440 is just a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyway, that's why I tune to 432. Do what you want. It's not an argument matter. What have we got? Same old reality. No, it's time to go, folks. It's time to go. And I'm going to leave you with a slow blues. A slow minor blues with my good friend Jim Drummond on the drums. And our good friend George Panos from Long Island, New York, playing bass. And uh, we recorded this in Switzerland. And as you can see, when I press that button, coherence... <laughs> That's the wrong album. <laughs> it's actually on light. Don't go by and all clear thinking you're going to get this track because it's not on it. It's on light. Oh, I'm a big kid. I'm a big kid. And I like it.
Okay. I think that might be the end. That might be the end. Or shall we do the numbers game? I know um, Axel in Bad Munster likes this one. So I'll be over there to see you all in Germany soon. Um, if you want to drop me an email, ask me any questions about gear or setups or sounds or anything like that or uh paul at paulrose.co.uk if you want lessons <laughs> lessons at paulrose.co.uk <laughs> like if you send a lessons email to paul at paulrose.co.uk you will not get lessons <laughs> And if you send an email to ask about guitars or pickups, and if you send it to lessons, you'll not get an answer. And I will not talk to you about pickups or strings or amps or compositions. I'll answer every question in every email, provided it's in good taste. Um, and it's reasonable and not crack hot lunatic obsessive shape uh, okay let's do uh, let's do numbers game I think it was number eight wasn't it yeah okay this is called numbers game because of the digital recording well uh, more than just the digital recording the music of the spheres, sacred geometry, music, mathematics, Johann Sebastian Bach, meditation, Kundalini, out of body experience, and uh, and all that. So basically, it's a sequence that I wrote on a synthesizer, which. Um, Oh, I've got a good sense of humour, ladies and gentlemen. I am thinking about doing a stand-up comedy act under a different name, or with a different face. <laughs> I'm going to get a different face for that. Uh, maybe I'll wear a mask with a sheep on it. Or a lamb. And, uh, yeah. So Jim played the drums to this keyboard sequence. And uh, it's just a bit of bit of music. Here we go.
There you go, that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I hope you've all enjoyed the music. Um, everything's going okay. Everything's going okay. Um, I am not a conspiracy nut. Uh, <clears throat> at least not publicly. But from what I've seen, deaths from coronavirus are almost non-existent now. Not non-existent, but comparatively speaking. Yes, the sp spread of the virus, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that. But I think that... I think that <clears throat> we shouldn't be afraid. That's basically the point. We shouldn't be afraid. My website, if you're interested, is paulrose.co.uk. Yes, it's paulrose.co.uk. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the I, I spend weeks miming to this. It's not me playing the guitar. Somebody else. There's a mate of mine down the road. Uh, called Billy Hendrix. Um, so let's not be afraid, folks. Let's not be afraid. Nights are getting it's getting darker. Earlier, winter's coming. Christmas is just around the corner. Uh, thank you very much. Don't really know what else to say. Hang on a second now. That's me shop now. If I could find that page, I could refresh. <laughs> Paul Rose Band Camp. That's what you want. Paul Rose Band Camp. Any questions, email me at paulrose.co.uk. Whether you want to talk about gear or whether you want to talk about strings or lessons or music or composition or forthcoming gigs like i say i've been busy compiling and mixing for band of friends jerry mcavoy brendan o'neill stefan graf davy knowles jake lots of people all kinds of people may mckenna god there's a lot of stuff and i'm kind of pulling everything together and um, we'll, we'll we'll be doing something soon uh, so that's why I haven't been doing an enormous amount of streaming uh, I'm running out of things to say I just can't bring myself to say goodnight but I will, I will say goodnight and the playlist that's what I can say and then I press this button and it ends the show so I'm going to press Dell, delete and it'll, call, it'll kill the show and I'll see you all soon please stay in touch, please say hello Thank you very much. Good night. Mm -hmm.